to today's uh, standing strength, mobility, balance. It's kind of all in one class today for our lower body. So we're gonna be focusing on kind of some joint mobility with also loading up our muscle to get a little bit of strength going. So we're gonna be working on the hips and the knees specifically. I will be providing lots of modifications for you today. So this is an all levels class for those of you that are a little bit wary about anything super harsh on the hips and the knees, don't worry. I will give you some good uh, alternatives for these exercises. So let's talk about what you need. You're gonna need a light weight and this weight I would say is actually pretty optional. So today you can do almost everything with your body weight. Adding that weight is just a little bit of extra added resistance um, for a challenge. So I have a three pound weight, you just need one. You can choose anything from I would say one to five or if you're super advanced with strength training, I would even go to like eight to 10 if you feel good. And then a chair would be a good thing to have if you are not great with your balance or you're a little bit new to mobility and strength exercises. So the chair is just there to kind of keep us nice and stable since we're standing today. So. If you don't need either of those or get what you need out of those two and then make sure you have plenty of space around you, no tripping hazards, nothing that's gonna make you fall or get in your way. And let's get started with our warm up. So we're gonna start with some high knees. So join me here, bringing that knee all the way up, alternating those arms, just kind of stretching out the hamstring and the glute muscle here, which as we know, the hamstring and the glutes are behind us on the lower back half of our, uh, our leg there. Um, and then just getting our heart rate up too, that's important, even though we're not doing a ton of cardio today, we're still gonna wanna make sure our heart is all ready to go. So get those knees nice and high here. Deep breath in and out here. Excellent, few more on each side. And last one, we're transitioning to butt kick. So this time from the side, get your heel up to your butt and we're just gonna alternate, okay? So this is kind of the opposite of the knees, the high knees, we're stretching out the quads here and kind of engaging the hamstrings, getting those all warmed up. Excellent, rocking back and forth here. You can add in a little side twist if you want, it takes a little bit of coordination, but it's a good way to kind of warm up the lower back and the core for what we're gonna be doing today. Excellent, so speaking of what we're gonna be doing today, first, Let's get into some hip circles and we'll talk about the class. So nice, big, deep hip circles. You can take your legs a little wider if you need to. Um, if you were in my Tuesday class, today's class is very similar. So we're gonna have a set of six exercises, but we're gonna break them up into three little mini sets. So we have two exercises we're gonna do for 30 seconds back to back, then we have a minute rest, another two 30 seconds back to back, switch rotation, and then another rest, and then we have our last two 30 seconds back to back. So it's equal work to rest ratio today, um, giving your muscles some good time to be time under tension, but also have some rest in between. We're gonna repeat the whole set two times. So nice, good for repetition, but nothing too crazy. I won't try to bore you to death today with a nice, slow, easy strength training class. A few more here. Last part of our warm up, we're gonna do some hip flexor rotation. So this is where you'll wanna hold onto the chair if you need to, but we're gonna take our left leg, we're gonna bring it up, out, and down, and then back, up, and in. And then you're gonna switch sides. So up, out, down, up, and in. Excellent. Warming up that hip flexor here, a little bit of the outer glute muscle as well. So really try to rotate just at your hip flexor so our, our core kind of wants to move with it. It's okay if it does a little bit, but really try to make sure you're mobilizing the hip there. I love this exercise. I have some very vivid memories of doing this for soccer warmups when I was little. Um, but honestly, it's a, great, it's a great hip opener for anything that we're gonna be doing today. So last one here on each side. Excellent, last one on the left. Perfect, all right, shake those legs out, grab some water. I'm gonna demo the first two exercises and then we're gonna jump right in. So first exercise, 30 seconds of good mornings. So feet are gonna be shoulder width apart and our fingertips are gonna sit behind the ears. We're gonna push our butt back. So our knees just have a slight bend in the knee, but we're hinging here at the hips. We bring our chest level to the ground and then we pull back, okay? So push that butt back, slight bend in the knees, and then we're coming back. Now our next one, I'm gonna show you lots of modifications for this. We're gonna do a squat with a side step. Don't let that scare you, just watch, okay? So your traditional squat is gonna be feet shoulder width apart. 
We're gonna sit down like we're sitting in a chair, so we're back more on our heels. Bend up the knee and your hands can come up here for stability. So the full exercise is a squat and then you're gonna sidestep, squat and sidestep. Now your modifications are as follows. If you don't wanna go down to a deep squat, you just do a half squat where you're just bending very slightly. You come back up. Your other option is holding onto the front of that chair for stability, going down as far as you feel comfortable and coming back up. Your other option for this is a chair squat. So many of you know what this looks like. We do this every day. We sit down in the chair and we stand back up, okay? So there's your full list of modifications for that squat. You choose what's best for you, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. So 30 seconds of good mornings to start. Your times, I'm not giving you amount of reps to follow. So just do what you feel is best for you. And let's go ahead and begin. Three, two, and one. So push those hips back and come forward. You're gonna start to feel this in your hamstrings and your glutes as you do more of them. So really practice pushing back, keeping your chest nice and open. Fingertips behind the ears. Excellent. No bending at the knees here. We're not in our squat just yet, right? We're just pushing back and forward. Excellent. Five, four, three, two, and last rep in here. Then we go right into our 30 seconds of squat side steps, okay? So choose your squat. Let's begin. So we squat down, we sidestep, and squat down. Excellent, great for knee and hip mobility here. But like I said, we're all on different levels, right? Sometimes these, these hurt the knees and the hips a little bit. So modify your depth, take a seat in the chair, use the chair for balance, whatever works good for you. Excellent, nice and slow. Really check in with your form here so you're sitting back and standing up. Five seconds, three, two, and one, nice job, shake it out. We have a minute of rest here. So I'm gonna demo the next set of two exercises, which are abduction. So this is where I would suggest having a chair, the back of the chair to hang on to, and your weight. I gotta catch my breath here. I'm doing this with you and I can't talk through it. So weight comes at the hip here, just kind of rest it on your hip. You hang on to that chair and you abduct that leg, that leg and you come back down. So great hip and inner thigh strength here. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of the right, 30 seconds of the left, and then we get our minute of rest again, okay? So no worry though, we still have a good 15 seconds of rest here. So during these rest times, I want you to be mindful of how you're using them. If your heart rate gets up, take a minute to sit. Otherwise, you can get into a march or some hip circles or something to stay mobile, okay? We'll talk a little bit about that as we go along, but go ahead and grab that weight. Minute of rest is over. Place it on your hip here, grab onto that chair, and let's begin with that left leg, okay? So keep that leg nice and straight. You don't have to lift that leg very far. So depending on your hip range of motion and your flexibility, you might only get out to here, right? That's okay. As long as you're kind of pushing the boundary a little bit and feeling that good stretch, also gaining a lot of strength around that hip here. Excellent job. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Get your last repetition there, and then we switch sides. So I'm gonna shoot my chair over here so I have it to hang on to, and let's begin on that right side. So not a lot of time, not a lot of rest in between these two exercises, but we get that nice minute of rest afterwards. So make sure you're staying nice and tall here. Chest is open, squeeze that core. That's gonna help to propel your leg outward. Excellent job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Rest one minute here. I'm bringing my chair back over here. The chair is gonna be doing lots of dancing today. Now, we have a minute of rest here. Watch for our third set of exercises, which are lunges, okay? So very similar to the squat. Lots of different ways you can do these. Um, if you wanna do it with just your body weight, you can. Otherwise, you're gonna hold the weight in the opposite leading leg. So if we lead with our left, we have the weight in our right. We start with our feet together, we take a step back with that right, we lunge, come back, and together. Or, if you just wanna do a half lunge, right, similar with the squat, you just bend a little, back, and together. Or you don't bend the knees at all, you take a big step back, practice your balance, 
and you push together. Everything's gonna do the same, okay? So you choose your depth, but challenge yourself a little bit here and see what your body can do. You might be surprised. So grab that weight in the right hand. We're gonna lead with our left. So our right leg is gonna travel and let's begin. So take a step back, lunge up and together. So take your time with this. Lots of balance here as we step back with that right leg. We wanna make sure our core is nice and tight. Our chest stays nice and open. And we follow through with the entire exercise, okay? Excellent. Five seconds, three, two, and one. I'm gonna sneak one more lunge in here. Excellent, same thing, just switch sides. So this time, weight in the left, right leg leads, left leg goes back and begin. So with lunges, very, very important to make sure that you are also sitting back on that heel, similar to the squats, right? So we're not taking a lean forward in doing that lunge. Look how much that puts a ton of pressure on your knee. You're sitting back and coming together. Excellent. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Sneak that last rep in and toss that weight aside. Nice job, Mighty Family. One minute of rest here. Let's take a big deep inhale. Can't really get too deep if your breaths are short here, but go ahead and exhale. Hip rotations, grab some water. Nice, I actually get to rest with you guys this time since I'm not demoing. Feels nice. Excellent, 30 seconds left here in our, cool, in our not cool down, but our little rest. So we're gonna do everything one more time. Now you know how everything feels, right? So see if you can't maybe try to get a little bit deeper in your range of motion or get a little bit more repetitions in, okay? So this is your time to really kind of see what your body can do with, these, with this mobility. Um, since you only have to do it one more time. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up with good mornings, shake those legs out, get all set up, feet shoulder width apart, fingertips behind the ears, and let's begin. 30 seconds here, same as the first time, really hinging at the hip, okay? So to show you the difference, a squat, right, is down. A good morning is pushing back. So really make sure you're feeling that nice stretch in the hamstring, the glutes, Excellent job, Mighty Family. Nine seconds. Three, two, and last rep in here. And tra transitioning right into those squats. So again, feet shoulder width apart, hands out in front for stability. Squat down, step, and squat. Excellent. You know your options by now, so do what feels best for you even if that's different than the first time. If you did full range of motion squats the first time and you're not feeling it this time, that's okay. You get to choose what feels right for you. Excellent job, five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Nice job, shake those legs out. Hip circles, if you're feeling it in the hips now, you can do high knees, butt kicks, whatever feels good for you. 45 seconds here in this rest. We've got abductions on deck last time around, okay? So again, see if you can't challenge that range of motion. Get those legs up a little higher than the first time. Nice job. Deep breaths here. Rest is there to get your heart rate down so you're better prepared to really kick butt figuratively and literally in the next set, okay? 20 seconds. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna grab my weight and get set up for this next set. We're not quite there yet. We've got about eight seconds left, but transition your chair if you need to. Get that weight in the left hand, rest on the left leg, and let's start, 30 seconds here. So again, having that chair is really nice, right? Because if you don't, you risk doing this, which is not really doing anything for your hips. So if you can keep your body nice and straight by holding onto that chair, you're working more of that hip versus your core, if that makes any sense or if you could see the difference. <laughs> Probably not because you're working hard, but I like to think that uh, I'm not just rambling all the time. What I'm saying is somewhat valuable, I hope. Excellent job, Mighty Family, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Sw uh, quick transition here onto the right side. So again, get that weight in the right hand, right leg goes up and we begin right into it. Use that chair for support, but I will say, 
I've always had a good rule of one to three fingers on that chair, right? Because if we're completely relying on it, you're not really doing much for your balance. So this is a great balance exercise, but also a great strength. So just a nice light reliance on that chair. Excellent, five seconds, three, two, and one, excellent. Okay, rest. We have our last and final rest before our last and final set. So I'm gonna get in some high knees. Getting those hips worked out with those abductions sure uh, gets a good burn in those hips. High knees, just to keep the body mobile here, we've got 30 seconds. Deep breath. When we're working lower body muscles, there are bigger muscles. So it sends our heart rate way up. So even if we're not getting some cardio movements in, we're still getting that cardio, cardiovascular benefit because we're using huge muscles. Our quadricep, huge. Our hamstrings, not as big, but also very big. So always keep that in mind. You can kind of kill two birds with one stone there. Go ahead and grab that weight. We're gonna hop into lunges. So left leg leads, weight in the right hand, and let's begin. So step back with that right, lunge, back, and together. Now it's really important to make sure when you step back, get your balance first before you head into that lunge, and then same thing on the way back. Nice job. Squeeze that core. Breathe through every repetition. You're doing great, you've got five seconds. Three, two, and one, go ahead and switch right into that other side. So left hand has the weight, left leg goes back, and we begin. Nice and easy, we don't have to go fast here. I know we wanna go fast. It's our last exercise, we wanna zoom through it, but maintain that mobility, maintain that stability here. Again, if you need to switch it up a little bit, you certainly can. Nice job, Mighty Family. Five, four, three, let's get one more in. And one, nice job. Woo, toss that weight aside. Let's see, take some big deep breaths in here. And we're gonna get into a hamstring stretch. So a couple different ways you can do this. You can do it on the floor, not on the floor. You can do it with the floor or the chair. So hamstring stretch, you can either do it with that left leg like so, or if you would like to prop your leg up on a chair and do it this way, you can. Okay, so whichever one feels best for you, hinging at the hip, keeping that left leg nice and straight, feeling that nice stretch there in the hamstring. Deep breaths as our heart rate comes down here. Nice job, switch sides. Same thing on that other side. So we're kind of digging our heel into the ground here, bending that back leg. Nice stretch in the hamstring. All right, go ahead and come back up. Shake those legs out. We're gonna do a hip flexor stretch, so pretty similar. We're gonna get into kind of a lunge stance. We're going to keep our left leg or our lead leg pointed this way and our back leg pointed this way in front of us. And then we're gonna lean into it, okay? So this is a great stretch for that inner thigh. It's kind of a stubborn area to stretch a lot of times. So this is a great one to do. Take a nice lean forward. You can adjust your distance between your feet if you need to. Nice job, switch sides. So this time, right foot or lead leg points this way, left this way, and lean. I guess I should say, not this way, we're saying to the left or to the right 45 degrees and to the front. That would probably help you all out a little bit better than saying this way. I do that when my mom is asking for directions. I say, you, you turn this way on this street. It's not a great, great habit of mine. A couple seconds. Nice job, quad stretch here. So this time we're gonna go ahead, if you can hold onto a wall or a chair, grab your foot and pull your uh, heel towards your butt, keeping your knees together, okay? So with this stretch, we don't wanna be out here. We don't wanna be out here like a flamingo. Our knees are together. If it's a little tough to grab that foot, you can grab the back of your shoe and that decreases the range of motion there a little bit. Stay nice and tall, deep breath. Excellent. 
excellent switch sides, shake that leg out. Now, if you need some extra time to stretch, which I always recommend, hop in the app, grab a stretch and recovery for lower body. They're great, especially after some mobility and strength exercises. Excellent. Last part of our little cool down stretch, we're gonna do some ankle circles. So left leg out, just roll that ankle out. Always feels nice, especially if you got some snap crackle pops happening in there. Just work that ankle joint out. You go in whatever direction feels best here. Switch feet. Also a good balance exercise. See, I'm always sneaking balance into everything. Just challenging you a little. Excellent job, Mighty Family. Take one last big deep inhale and exhale. Nice job, Mighty Family. Thank you so much for joining me for today's lower body hip strength mobility, knee strength mobility class. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great weekend uh, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday.